back here on a special opening day edition of the MLB pregame show. Matt Vaskersian here counting down the minutes until the new season gets underway. And before it does, we'll check out our first Tops player spotlight. The dude, Gerald, led the National League in wins a year ago, pacing the senior circuit in a category that gets a lot of attention but doesn't necessarily determine the league's best overall pitcher. Super impressive. I know the wins are dependent upon the team, and we look at the game a little bit differently and study the metrics a little bit differently from both the offense and pitching sides of the baseball. But you know what? Show me a guy who goes out on a bump and gives his team a chance to win every time, and I'll show you a great teammate. So bottom line is I'm digging the wins. All right. Lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on MLB Network. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. You know, I always think pitching and defense are the keys to success in the long run. So as the season gets started, it's going to be really important for this pitching staff to set a good tone. If they can get off on a good foot, it will do a lot for the confidence of the entire ball club. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network. And it's coming up next. So striding forward now, Robert Poisson. He'll lead things Ready off here in the bottom the half world. of the first. The shortstop, Robert Poisson. Now here it comes. And he up, pops him up, up, up. drifting oh, toward oh. the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. Time now for a glance at the Marlins lineup card in this one. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Well, Matt, this goes for both lineups. They know they're dealing with a tough test in a pitcher's park, but they can't let that bother them too bad. Or they'll walk out of here three, four game set, 0 for 12, 0 for 15. They have to find a way to stay within themselves, line drive approach. One will carry out of here if they get it. Here's the first pitch to him. Connor Scott comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, up, but go. I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a no reason ball. why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. Nope, and it's that's one and two. Swing and a miss. Looked like the screwball there. Two gone. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches, what they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Batting third. The right fielder, Anthony Buck. Into the box now, Anthony Buck. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. 
One, two, three go the Marlins. They trail it here two to nothing. Now at the plate, the dude, Gerald. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The dude, Gerald. Here it comes. Ripped on the ground to first. Come on, come on, come and on. He'll get here, get step here. on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Phillies down in order, but they're on top two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Matt Seitz, and they'll need him to get something the going here. Hey, we're still in the Matt. early stages in this one. They're only Sorry. down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. First pitch of the at-bat. Hey. Now a slider down the middle, but laid off. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take Where's a swing at it. Now? The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, and he's really oh, getting oh, the better right. of him now. It's strike two. Hey, nobody away. Ah, and the screwball got him swinging one gun. Digging in, Nick Madrigal. Batting fifth. The second baseman, Nick Madrigal. Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Okay. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well, and I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone, and if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Now at the plate, Andrew Bechtold. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Hey, come on now, guys. Here's the pitch. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. So striding in, Jack Larson, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. The windup and the 0-1. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Larson has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. And that'll bring up Nick Shufo. 0-1 the count.
Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Coming to the plate now, Sixto Sanchez. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. All right, come on now. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0-2. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Slow roller down the third baseline. Reined in. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. Miami down in order. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Stepping in and ready for another now shot. Back. The dude, the Gerald, he got on top the of dude. one and was a ground out Gerald. victim last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he runs it in on him and gets him to one. swing through it for strike one. Right oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Larson will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Nothing doing here this half. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Phillies four and the Marlins nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop Robert Poisson. Circle change is cut on and missed 0-1. I'd like to see this lineup start working the count a little bit more and drive up this pitcher's pitch count. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Standing in, Connor Scott. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Number 25. Connor. Scott. Here we go, guys. First pitch on its way. 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Good pitch there, had him a little out in front. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Boy, it's been a rough go through these middle innings so far. This offense right now really doesn't have an answer for anything that he's thrown. He's attacking up, down, in and out in the strike zone. He's been awfully dominant up to this point. The right fielder at the plate, Anthony, Anthony Buck. Anthony. This will go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Aye. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Hit on the ground to short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. We played four full. Philadelphia's on top, four to nothing. Into the box now, Matt Thice. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. But this guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. 
Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. Now back, second baseman, Nick. To the plate now, Nick Madrigal. Madrigal. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One out now. Hey, plays the one. Here we go. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Steven is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Now at the plate, Andrew Bechtold. He looked to bounce Number back eight, after striking eight, out his last time Andrew. up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way go, to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Swings through it for strike number two. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. Hey, now we've got two. And he fouls this one off. The next 0 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. So stepping in, Jack Larson. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Here we go, guys, let's go. And he struck him out. The 10th victim sat down on strikes thus far. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. Now batting, number 58. Stepping in now, Nick Schufo. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Hey, one away. Nothing one in away. two count, and the pitch. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Nico Horner will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Nico Horner. A ball and no strikes. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Two down, two down. The 1-0 home. A 
swing and a miss. One That's one. the first strike. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Aye. Gets ahead with a knuckleball right over the outside corner. No runs, no hits, yeah, and no errors in the game right for the Marlins. Fouled away. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Miami down in order. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Ladies Blaine Murdoch is on to pitch from the bullpen now to now start inning number seven. Number 32, Blaine Murdoch. Now batting, the dude, Gerald, he flew out in his last at-bat. The dude, Gerald. Come on, baby. See it? Drive it. Here comes the first pitch. And this ball is taken one, outside for ball one. And now the Marlins' bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Got it, no one better. Let's go. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Scott is right there, one down. Bottom of the inning now, and stepping in is the veteran Leading shortstop, up. Robert Poisson. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. One and one to the Marlins' leadoff hitter. Pitch on the way. Here you go, fellas. Let's go. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. So now to the plate, oh, Connor the Scott. The field. Ball That's one. Ball. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Yeah. Bounce towards the second baseman. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down two, as an infield two, single. Two, two. Ah, they finally break through for their first hit of the ball game, so the no-hit bid will end right here. Yeah, Matty V, and this is what you start thinking about that no-no. You get into the seventh inning, Dero. As a pitcher, you start looking ahead to what might happen. And that donut stares at you from an offensive standpoint as well. This guy's had his A game. You can't deny the fact that he's pitched a heck of a game, but from an offensive standpoint, you never stop grinding to get a crooked number up on that board. Anthony Buck is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Hey, you got one. The 0-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Here it comes, 0 and 2. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location. And the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Now, Matt, at the plate now, now Matt Thice. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, Thice. it's 0-1. 0 for hey, 2, 2 from him so far in this one. Right by oh, him here, and he's right. set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. 
so far this has been a terrific outing for this guy throwing well keeping his pitches to a minimum locating his fastball to both sides of the plate good command of the off-speed pitches very little traffic on the bases so far right he here. couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one Ready with another 0-2. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. Marlins leave one. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. The pitcher, the dude, Gerald, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. Let's go, big fella. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Popped him up. Madrigal takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. Bottom of inning number eight set to go and set to go is the second baseman Nick Madrigal. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Rolled slowly to first. Scooped up, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that can go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. Ready for another shot now. Andrew Bechtold. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Big swing and a miss at the All knuckle one. curve. Strike one. Hey, Bases are empty. One man out. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball one. The count is one and two. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one. And this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. Now batting. In now, Jack Larson. Yes. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Two out, nobody on. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ballgame as he keeps racking him up. One, two, three, go the Marlins. Still eight, nothing. Ready now for the Marlins. Nick Schufo. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Number 58. No one down here. First offering on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And he got him at first on a ball that was already into left field. That's a heck of a play to get the first out. All right, so let's turn to show track for a more in-depth look at that one. Good reaction, great range, and a nice backhanded stop. And the jump throw with a lot behind it all the way across the infield for the out. The numbers don't lie, and that was pretty spectacular. Ryan Castillo will get the call the here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 33, Ryan Castillo. Castillo. 
And he takes ball one. Castillo, a Venezuelan-born ball player. He's a second-year big leaguer. Come on, guys. Now a soft liner to the right side. Foul. Now the one and one pitch. This one's flared off to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. Cut hole, cut hole, no runner. Now batter. Into the box, Robert Poisson. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Hey, one down now, one down. To short. And that's through, a base hit. Cut it, cut it. Hold on, here. hold on. Here. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Connor Scott is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. A one count. Here's the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. There's one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. Ready once again, Anthony Buck, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really two, shut two, down two. so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. 0-1, oh, here's the pitch. Down and away, ball one. Runners at the corners, two men out. Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Miami down to their last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove from the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. Eight nothing the final today. Philadelphia jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. The dude, Gerald, gets the win on the mound his first of the year and recorded 18 strikeouts along the way. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.